I mean, what was I supposed to do? I can't just forget like it all never happened. How can I forget something that meant so dear to me? And then, it was taken away from me. Just like that. Nothing I could do. All there was to do, was to sit there. And wait. Wait. Until my son was dead. October 21st, 2010. I'm drinking my sorrows away here in this rundown pub on the outskirts of town. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. All I know now is that sitting here alone in the middle of the night is more relieving than ever sitting back in that house again. I can't go back. Not anymore. A week prior to this evening, I came home from work late and miserable, like usual. I was hoping everyone would be asleep. I put my keys on the table and heard the sounds of footsteps close by. 12 a.m., huh? Why do you keep doing this? Just what the hell are you up to? I... Uh... <sighs> what? What are you trying to say? James, tell me the truth. You're still depressed about him, aren't you? God, James, it's been two years. Can't you let go of him? Let go of Sean? She was right. But... But the pain of the death of my son... I couldn't get over it. You see, Sean was diagnosed with acute premiolocytic leukemia, a rare type of cancer. We couldn't find a matching blood donor quick enough. And my son died less than three weeks later. And I was powerless. Anna fell to the ground. She couldn't do this anymore. And through this whole predicament, I saw my daughter peering from the corner of the room. She looked just like him. Whenever I saw those eyes, I needed to escape from this. I couldn't be with him anymore. And that would be the last time that I would see them for over a week. And here I am wallowing in my sorrow with more than enough alcohol in my system. All I knew what to do was drink nowadays. So that's what I did. <sighs> where, where am I? I awoke on a bed in someone's apartment. I, I could hear the sound of cop sirens in the distance and loud traffic outside the window. It appeared to be a dilapidated apartment. I looked around and heard the sound of running water in the distance. A tap. I got up and noticed the light seeping underneath the door in front of me. Hello? Hello, is someone there? No answer. Hello? I opened the door. In front of me was a young girl in the tub of water. She appeared to be unconscious. Her wrists... She seemed to have cut her wrists. I rushed to her and pulled her out of the tub. Quickly, I brought her to the bed and gently laid her down. She... God... She had a starking resemblance to my daughter. What? It, it couldn't be. I put my hand out to check her pulse. She was dead. What do I do? I need to get out of here.
Hey, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I can call him and tell if you want. <sighs> no. No, I need to go home. I need to see my family. <sighs>